For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television here on your Tuesday, July 18th, my name is Ian Kelly, and these are the stories we're following at this hour. Again, today, expect levels of fine particulate matter to average in the unhealthy for sensitive groups range. Note that levels may occur in the unhealthy range on an hourly basis. The anticipated elevated pollutant levels once again originate from Canadian wildfires. Additionally, in localized areas, dust may originate from cleaning operations after flooding has residual mud dries on roadways. Meanwhile, a flood watch is in place beginning this afternoon with more heavy rain expected. Londonderry now has a Federal Emergency Management Agency Resource Center. The center opens today to help survivors of the recent flooding navigate the recovery process. These centers are open to all residents from throughout the region and will be open from 9 to 5. Several state and nonprofit agencies involved in the individual disaster recovery will be present to answer questions and guide visitors to appropriate services. Resource centers have already been opened in Barry, Ludlow, and Johnson, with another opening in Woodstock today. Low interest disaster loans from the U.S. Small Business Administration are now available to businesses and residents in Vermont following the announcement of a presidential disaster declaration due to damages from the severe storm and flooding on July 7th. The disaster declaration covers Chittenden, Lamoille, Rutland, Washington, Wyndham, and Windsor counties in Vermont, which are eligible for both physical and economic injury disaster loans from the Small Business Administration. Disaster survivors should not wait to settle with their insurance company before applying for a disaster loan, if a survivor does not know how much of their loss will be covered by insurance or other sources, the Small Business Administration can make a low interest disaster loan for the total loss up to its loan limits, provided the borrower agrees to use insurance proceeds to reduce or to repay the loan. The Brattleboro Select Board will hold a special meeting tonight at 515 in the Select Board meeting room at the Municipal Center. The board will conduct a committee interview with a candidate for the Development Review Board and make appointments to the Development Review Board during the business part of the meeting. Following committee appointments, the select board is expected to immediately enter into executive session to discuss contracts, real, est uh, pardon me, real estate, and the evaluation of a public employee. WTSA Sports, another win for the Red Sox out on the West Coast last night thanks to Connor Wong's three RBIs. As the Red Sox beat Oakland 7-0, Nick Pavetta struck out 13 in the process. The teams play again tonight. Boston has yet to name a starter. First pitch from Oakland is at 940. Shohei Otani hit a home run to help the Angels beat the Yankees last night 4-3. Those teams play again tonight with Domingo Herman on the mound for New York. First pitch is at 9.35. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television here on this Tuesday, July 18th, have a safe and tremendous rest of your day, everybody. My name is Ian Kelly.